Hey everybody, um, welcome to this next episode I've got going on here. It's just a little mail call that I've kind of got going on. Uh, some mail call pickups, anything like that. So, figure just get ourselves right into this. So, one of the things I got was I was at Funko headquarters the other day and I managed to pick up the little monster Jack Jack. He's awesome, he looks adorable. I can't wait for this movie to come out. He looks amazing. Jack Jack's obviously gonna steal the scene or steal the movie in my opinion. He's uh he's got a lot of exclusives coming out here. He's got the chrome, he's got uh God, I can't even think of them all. I know there's a San Francisco game. There's gonna be a Jack Jack for the San Francisco Giants game. Uh but yeah he's got a lot. So the next one I've got is a Target exclusive Elastigirl. Uh, I wasn't able to really get to the store. Oh, God, her stand is not want to stand. But I wasn't able to get to the store to find her or anything like that. To get Even a lot of the ones that just came out during this same time frame when this one came out. Like the Deadpool, Mermaid. Uh, uh, oh, so there's quite a few of them. But... I got. I managed to get this one because a friend of mine in California managed to help me out. So it was kind of it was kind of nice that they were able to find it there when I couldn't find it here. But she looks actually pretty awesome in her uh, alternate outfit from the movie. Uh, her extended arm she has there, so you can kind of see she's looks pretty awesome. But. I will say the one thing that I kind of always have an issue of, even autumn when they have stands, they have really small feet. They don't stand, like, at all. Um, next thing I want to is, is another tar one of the other Target exclusives was the Owen from Jurassic World. Uh, was it the Lost World? And his little baby raptor. So, I was excited to get this one. Uh... This one was actually at headquarters as well, and I ended up seeing it in store, so I managed to help out another uh, friend of ours be able to get to get there. So one thing I thought was kind of interesting with this one was the fact that this has a little like QR code on the uh, see if I can get this one little QR code on little raptor there. Thought that was kind of interesting, but that's just it's a simple uh, simple little design, but it's Chris Pratt, so I mean. He's got another one that I need to get signed. I can't wait. I need to get all his signed. I've got all his. His Star Lords, his other Jurassic World ones he's got. Uh, his Parks and Rec. I'm hoping I can get him here because, I mean, he lives around this. Well, he was from around this area from where I'm at. So hopefully I might be able to meet him and be able to get all his stuff signed. Um, next thing I got is... Am the Amazon exclusive Pennywise with the severed hand. I finally got a chance to watch this movie, even though I've been collecting all these just because I knew I was going to like because I like the original uh, with Tim Curry and everything. But I finally got a chance to watch this, and this is such a little sick piece with his, that little severed hand and how ugly. He oh, good God. I will figure this out. But his little severed hand there. Blood, those little clown shoes and everything. I mean, this actually has to be one of my more favorite pieces of this set. Is this one? Uh, I love the detail of this one. I mean, it's all the blood to all the every little line, the little crack in his head up here. I mean, I'll go back to it. You can see a little crack. If you, I might be able to see a little crack in the head. Yeah, right there. You might be able to. Well, I just. Yeah, such an awesome little piece. Uh, two more I got here: some uh, football, NFL. Big NFL fan, love love sports, love all sports. But you got your Deion Sanders in his Atlanta Falcons, and you got Lawrence Taylor in his Giants outfit. Uh, these were both the Toys R Us exclusives, so I had to figure I had to pick these up because I obviously we don't know. How much, how difficult these are going to get, or if the prices are going to hike, or if it's going to be difficult to get them, and everything like that. 
But I managed to get really lucky that these were at HQ. So that was another nice little coincidence that these happened to be there. Because I missed out on them at my stores near me. So I was like, oh, well, I'll be fine. I should be able to get them later. But then, oh, lo and behold, it went under. So, um, but I'm glad to have these. I, I love the, the Deion Sanders. I mean, prime time is awesome. I, I always like a lot of the football ones, the fact that they have, like, all their, like, little cleats. You can, I mean, these ones actually stand some of the best out of a lot of the pops that are out there. You don't have to worry about the stands, but they have really large feet. Um, next thing I got here, I figured I wanted to get it because I'm going to be going to a convention in Portland in September. So I wanted to get this because they announced uh, Linda Blair at the convention. And I figured, why not? I had to get her Exorcist Regan Pop. I kind of held off for a reason. And now that I've, now she's going to be there, so I mean, I got to get this one signed. If you know anything about about me a lot of my I mean my collection like you can just kind of see this isn't even my science stuff my science stuff I've got about 200 almost 200 signed pops but from every from all sorts of people I go to a lot of like Walker Stalker cons I go to a lot of uh I mean, we've gotten to Emerald City quite often I went to I a lot of Port Portland conventions I've gone to Wizard World we flew out to Texas one time to go to a convention for like an Aliens 38th anniversary reunion. That was pretty awesome. Uh, but, you know, we've gone to a lot, like just a lot of them to try to get stuff signed. So, and then figure, last thing I kind of want to go, let's go with uh, a friend of mine helped me get this one. I figure it's going to be kind of difficult to get, but because uh, I didn't get a chance to get out and every, it seemed like everybody was having issues with this one. But it's the 7-Eleven Deadpool. With a chimichanga. Uh, if you knew anything about what happened with, I mean, the prices being high, they only got X amount. Uh, you know, they're being bought up by stores. You know, it happens all the time. Uh, employees buying them, um, this and that, hiding them. Who knows? I know there was a lot of all sorts of horror stories with this one, but I'm glad that a friend of mine, he was able to pick it up. He surprised me with it, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, cause this one I thought was going to be, this one was going to be so difficult for me to get because I mean, I was working the day that it came out. So there's nothing I could do. I had to kind of, I just kind of was going to just give up on it and just suffer the eBay prices. But I am so happy that I have this one. He looks pretty awesome. I mean, his little, he's got his little chimichanga there, his little katana and everything, but just a simple, just a simple X-Force, uh, outfit it's kind of like the one where he i want to say it was the new york one that had that was the ride the the, the gray ride and everything so uh this kind of goes with that so um but yeah that that's really it i mean nothing too much from this one figured just a quick mail call can uh i want to keep doing a lot more of these i want to do some other really just episodes here and there if i don't have a mail call just just kind of bring some uh some sort of line together just kind of throw some stuff either my favorites or talk about conventions or talk about any upcoming stuff or anything like that so well that's all i got uh i hope that you like this video if you do you know hit that like hit the subscribe and uh share it i mean i i, I want to do more of these these are fun i got a chance to do a little bit with a friend of mine if you get a chance to his uh He's nerdsmithing. Andy, good friend of mine. He got me into doing this, and I'm, I kind of want to continue to do more of this. So take care. Have a good one, and you guys have a fantastic evening. Bye.